If you're looking for fast, cheap, reliable mug coins, make sure to check out buymugcoins.com. Link in the description. Use code CK for 10% off. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. We're back with another episode of Stat Leaders for Week 13. And I got a brand new controller, man. I'm feeling pretty good. You see, I got the gold. On. You know, I'm flexing just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now, I know the Chiefs have been spiraling downwards lately, man. Started off as 5-0. and <laughs> Then they lost to the Jets to take them to 6-6. Six and six, 500 on the season. They are still technically in the playoffs. And they had a very nice performance from Alex Smith. So, we had to put him at quarterback, man. And running back was kind of tough, but it kind of wasn't, man. When you have someone that can do it both in the catching game and the rushing game, you got to put him in there. Le'Veon had a very nice game on the ground. Also had five for 106 in a tutty through the air. Not only did this man have one tutty, he also had another one, man. Alex Collins making his first appearance in the Stat Leaders video, man. He definitely deserves it. Speaking of deserves, man, Nelson Aguilar deserves an apology from yours truly, man. I, I was one of those people that trashed him last year, said he was a bust, said he was trash. He's definitely proving me wrong and everybody that said he was not good the guy just keeps on eating but nobody's been more consistent than keenan allen man he continues to put up over 10 receptions 100 yards and a touchdown every single week man that's just crazy i'm pretty sure this guy would have had three touchdowns i remember one of them got called back but aj green man one of the best five wide receivers in the nfl do not at me 94 speed tyreek hill getting the number one wide receiver position for this week six for 185 and two touchdowns you can't beat that now, tight end would have gone to Gronk, but after what he did to Tredavious White, nah, we, we can't have that on a squad. You're suspended for this week. So next man up is going to be Evan Ingram, 7 for 99 and a touchdown. You guys already know how we do when it comes to linebackers, man. Paul Puzlesny led all left outside linebackers with 14 tackles, and he also had a sack and a half. Joe Schober continues to produce, man, 12 tackles, one sack, one forced fumble for an all-around amazing week. Christian Jones making his first appearance, man, 13 tackles and a sack. And then Bobby Wagner rounding out the linebackers with 13 tackles himself. Kenny Clark was tied for the lead in sacks for all defensive linemen with two. One of the guys he was tied with, Ethan Westbrooks, gets the other nod at D-tackle. One day, I will cop the Marcus Lawrence Football Outsiders card, I promise. But, I, you know, I just gotta get my coins up a little bit. And then finally, Frank Clark was feasting on Halapuli Vitae Vitae. What? You can't say it either. Now, there were a bunch of cornerbacks that got one interception, so I had to get guys that haven't been featured in this series before like LaShawn Sims from the Tennessee Titans Marlon Humphrey from the Baltimore Ravens Xavier Howard was the only guy with more than one interception in week 13 and he also had a touchdown Tredavious White who had that interception you know the famous play I'm not gonna speak on that again that was just disgusting and then Kyle Fuller 89 overall team of the week I cannot wait to see what this card does for me there were a couple of safeties that had two forced fumbles one of them was Chris Banjo from the Saints now even though Eric Weddle only had one forced fumble he also had a sack he had an interception and he had a touchdown as well, man. No clothes in the closet, it's all birds. No sneakers in the sneaker box, it's all birds. No luggage in the trunk, man, it's all birds. Now I ain't gone, man. I'm a bomb first. He hit fumble to start us off. And of course, we don't recover. We never recover those. All right, so we're going to move on from that, man. My opponent has Dak Prescott passing the rock, and he's going to possession that. Not to mention LaDainia Thomason at freaking running back, man. This this team I'm playing against is absolutely stacked, but I say that every single video. And sometimes I'll be coming out with a W, so I'm not going to sit here and concede defeat already. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. All right, he's going to run the ball right up the gut. LT just bouncing off tackles, man. I'm already bored to death, man. This guy is just taking his jolly old time not passing running every single play ever since that first pass okay here we go another pass finally that's what i'm talking about as long as we can stop him of course we can't can't really blame him though he's taking what i'm giving him and he's doing a good job of moving the ball man hopefully we can stop it though there you gonna pass again man this is crazy let's go man we learned from the last play you went to the flats one too many times bobby wagner use that speed do not let that catch you baby we're gonna get the first points of the game in my humble opinion i think he's the best not only linebacker but best defensive player this entire season man he's been playing out of his mind don't believe me check the stats man back on deep he's going to the screen bro i have a feeling back to back interceptions this time is the defensive end and now we get to see what this offense is made of man i was close to being another pick six but luckily we got down before that happened here we go 
What we got? Circle? Okay, we're going to circle, baby. What you got? My man's AJ Green in a nice game. I'd love to get more than three points on his drive, so hopefully we can get this first down, baby. Third and five. He's running man-to-man -man defense, which means we... Oh, my goodness. We going to get sacked. Approaching a minute left in the first half, and my opponent is approaching field goal range. Hopefully, we can stop that from happening. Third and one. And he has someone wide open over the middle. He doesn't see him. Instead, he gets sacked. Wow, he must have liked what he saw on that last play because he's going for it on fourth and seven many humongous play he's going underneath and that's a beautiful tackle from Schober. i'm confident alex smith to move the ball down the field and get us in the field goal range man i know he can make it happen second and ten we just gotta prove it you feel me we just gotta prove it square wide open that's a bullet to tyree i know you see it i know Tyreek Hill on the nice little corner route. And that's how we're going to get in the field goal. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Man, we're going to move on to game two. Ho-hum, another God squad, another W coming up. Call it confidence, man, because right now, after that first game we just played, I'm, I'm feeling really good, bro. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like we can stop anybody. Oh, my, maybe I should relax. All right, see, I was confident, but this guy's coming out chewing clock, which means he definitely knows what he's doing, or at least, you know, he's a savage. That's all I know. He's a savage. He's going right to the middle banjo getting there right in time do not sleep on chris banjo just because he's a silver card man the guy makes plays here we go man second and ten time to prove it baby we get the sack with kenny clark this guy is a savage man fourth and forever and he's going to go for it man wow i think i have to watch randy moss that's definitely the guy he's going to try to go to i just know it's going to happen baby and he's not going to get the ball off kenny clark keep eating starting off with a play that i know works 95 percent of the time pa post baby r1 wide open come on evan ingram let's go baby tiptoe for a nice game same formation hopefully you can pick up the first down this time Le'Veon bell getting the carry right up the gut get off me son we're gonna get the first this guy loves running man defense so we're gonna have to you know try to get him out of that you know comfortability come on evan ingram once again wide open and this one is gonna be a house call baby evan ingram getting in there for the first points of the game we still have to stop these legends man herschel walker and warm moon and also so Randy Moss, they're not going to be easy to stop, man. Even though we did it once, it doesn't mean we're going to do it again, man. Look at Herschel running all over us. Going to use her, my man Xavier Howard this time. He's going to try to run the ball again, and he's going to be successful, man. We got to stop this. We're doing a terrible job of stopping his running game. It got him all the way inside the five-yard line, man. Come on, bro. Somebody step up. That's an amazing tackle right there. It's going to bring up second and goal. We're going to cover two invert. Hopefully, we can stop both the pass and the run from this formation. Yes, sir. I think we can. I think we cannot. We, we cannot stop Randy. Oh. Oh. Bridge gang. Got up, baby. Got like four ounces in the 20, ah. bitch. Black. No, what the hell? I was trying to do the challenge that I did earlier, and of course, I fail, and it turns out being a safe. My thought process was I did not want Keenan Allen returning it. I wanted Tyreek Hill returning it, so I tried to put him back there and get the nice lateral. Obviously, you guys saw what happened. It didn't work out. And, of course, he's going to get a nice game with his tight end. Not going to panic, though. All we need to do is get one stop, hold him to three points, and we'll be in good shape, baby. We'll be in good shape, but Herschel Walker cannot be tackled. He's letting the clock tick, and he's not going to kick his field goal. Bro, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. Are you serious? You're not going to kick the field goal? Oh my, he's so lucky to get it off with one second left. So lucky. Now, we do have the ball to start the second half, but I don't know, man. It's not off to a good start right now. We're struggling to move the ball. Third and six. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's gonna leave Alex Smith the wide open lane to scramble. That's why I'm a little bit surprised that Alex Smith and the Chiefs are struggling because I know he can still do that. Take off when he has to. So I don't know, man. It's very perplexing. Second and 12, we're gonna run the ball to the outside. Le'Veon getting smashed. We still got this, man. Third and 14. I'm not giving up hope. I know we can get this first down. Tyree, you gonna come across the formation. Let's see, he's in man. No, he's in zone defense. We're gonna step up in the pocket. And our one's wide open. Come on, baby. Evan Ingram, you gotta catch that. No, because when you don't catch it, he gets fluke interceptions like that. Now we are in dire need of a stop badly. Like, I know he's gonna try to pound the rock with Herschel Walker every single play. I'm creeping up every single time. He's gonna have to prove to me that he can pass the ball. And, of course, he's gonna prove right here. 
He's just gonna prove it with these, just like that. He's gonna come out in a goal line formation. Probably gonna go to the sneak. I wouldn't be surprised, but I also wouldn't be surprised at a toss, man. We're gonna have to see what he does. He's gonna pass it. What the hell? Was not expecting that. No! Fourth quarter has begun. We are down multiple possessions, but I still cannot abandon the running game because Le'Veon can break one any single time. He touches it, man. I promise you, it can happen. I told you, it's possible. Le'Veon almost breaks one right there. This time, we're actually gonna be passing the rock, man. He's expecting the run just like i said but Le'Veon's gonna get it out of the backfield go upfield baby Le'Veon's still on his feet beautiful those plays were fine and dandy but we we need big plays we need big gains and we're going to one of our best big playmakers on the squadron man tyree kill please please for the love of god tyreek nice spin move getting the first down okay i'm gonna go to four verticals right here on first and ten Let's see what we got, baby. R1 wide open. Please catch that Aguilar. Getting his first catch of the video. We had to get out of that formation for a quick second. Now it's third and five. And uh, hopefully we can get this first down, baby. Alex Smith, I need you right here. I need you bad. Please. Square wide open. Let's go, baby. AJ Green. That really freaking sucks, man. We're wasting so much clock by not getting in on that play. But it is what it is. Second and goal. We're going to the toss. Le'Veon is going to get the touchdown no matter what. I'm so freaking nervous, man. I know he's going to run the ball, but there's a small small chance he could pass and if he passes it we're effed and as you can see man he's passing the ball he's going deep to the left side no way come on bro please make a play Tredavious nice swat that's gonna bring up the biggest play of the game third and freaking six man what's he gonna do It's all good though. We have another chance to get off the field right here, man. Humongous fourth down. And he's gonna get it again. This honestly means the game is not over, man. We get this two-point conversion, so it's now a one-possession game. You already know what we have to do, man. Air the ball out and hope for the best. Let's see what we got, baby. Let us see what we got, baby. Come on. Alex Smith, I need you to put the ball on the money. Yes, yeah, circle wide open. Come on, baby. That's a bullet right there. AJ Green still on his feet. Way to fight. This has to be one of the most intense finishes I've had all year, man. And I just hope he can come out on top. I really hope he can do it. Come on, X. Come on, X. Hey, this team fought it is what it is i feel like if that safety on the kick return didn't happen we probably come out on top but uh it is what it is ggs to my opponent thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it and you want to see the series next week please go ahead and smash that like button also don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here and as for me gotta run when i get a bird call yeah. Hop in that thing and murk off, swerve off.